welcome back to Handmade in a Hallmark. Today I've got a card utilizing a technique that I recently found. I'm not sure if this is new, it's been shown before, but for me it's new. It's where you take oxide inks and you kind of erase away some of the ink. I call it ghost painting. I really hope you like the idea and the technique. Let's get into it. Today I'm using an oldie but goodie. This is the Spring Bouquet stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I love this set. So big and beautiful. I love all of the florals in it. The first thing I'm going to do is get my ink blending done. I'm using Black Soot, Chipped Sapphire, and Seedless Preserves. This is a really fun combination. And I've got some Bristol Smooth cardstock here. So my ink blending is going to go kind of fast here. I'm starting with the Seedless Preserves and then heading into the Black Soot. When I was kind of playing around with this idea in my head, I found out that working with darker colors, it seemed to work a bit better. I don't know if it's because there's more contrast, but I found that the darker the color, the better off. Um, I think it would work with regular oxide or regular distressings, excuse me. I haven't tried that yet. Maybe I'll give that a shot next time. But here I'm just ink blending until I'm happy. I'm using my waffle flower blend blending brushes, excuse me to get the ink blending. I'm not really super concerned if it's absolutely perfect because the main focus is going to be on the florals and I am planning on cutting this down a little bit later. But um, I really like these colors together. I think they look really great. And like I said, I'm not sure if this technique has been shown before. Um, I haven't seen it, um, but I call it ghost painting. I'm sure there's some other way to call it. But you're basically just painting away ink. So oxides react with water and so whenever you, you kind of get it wet, it, it oxidizes, it kind of pulls the color away and you get left with white areas. So that's kind of where this idea came from. I'm just stamping down my big floral image here, kind of off to the side because I, like I said, I'm going to plan on cutting this down later. And um, I'm using Versa Fine Onyx Black ink because it is a waterproof ink because I am going to be using quite a bit of water here. Now, I've just got a paintbrush and some clean water, and I've kind of, I'm probably going to play around with this idea a little bit more. This is the very first um, kind of test run on film. So, what I'm doing is I'm laying down kind of a layer of water first, and then I'm drying my brush off a little bit and pulling the water away. And that's leaving that kind of oxidized look behind where you kind of, you're pulling the ink away. Um, like I said, it's kind of like erasing the ink and it leaves behind this really kind of faded color, which is kind of the idea I was going for. I mean, I probably could have masked this, but that's a lot of fussy cutting to create a mask, but I didn't want it to be stark white. I wanted it to kind of look faded, almost like a lighter version of each of these colors. Um, I really felt like it was kind of interesting. So I'm going to just go through this process again. I'm just adding water and pulling it away with a dryer brush. I'm going to put on some music because this is quite a lengthy process and I don't think I can chat that long. But again, it's a super simple just going in, adding water and pulling it away. Once I'm all finished with this, we'll come back and finish up together.
Once I was all finished, I dried it with my heat gun just to make sure that it was nice and dry because I do plan on using my die sear. This is from the MFT A2 Stitch Stacks Dynamics and I didn't want to have the whole panel. Um, the black didn't really kind of, I guess, erase away as well as the others. Maybe if I let it set a little bit longer, it might have kind of created that effect a little bit better. But I was still happy with it in the end. Uh, I still got the effect I was going for. Um, I really love the way that this turned out. And also trimming it down really helps kind of bring the focus in to the technique that I was going for. And I'm just going to use some Simon Says 110 pound cardstock here. Uh, cut to an A2 size top folding card base. And I really liked using the white because I really think it helps everything stand out and really pop. I wanted to keep this pretty much clean and simple because I wanted the ghost painting to kind of really come through. I really think this would be fun to do with bigger florals. Um, I, I think it's possible that you could achieve the same look um, with other florals, maybe some smaller ones. You could do it with any image. I think it would be really fun with Halloween cards. Um, but I, I really like this technique and I love how it turned out. So to finish off the inside of my card, I'm going to stamp this big floral again using some Simon Says Fog Ink. Now I didn't get my stamp completely cleaned off, um, so the fog ink isn't as light as I would have liked it. But in the end, I still love the way that the card turned out. I love this big floral. I think it's really detailed and beautiful. And it can be used for any number of occasions. Just like any of their other floral stamp sets, they're super fun to play around with. There's so many different styles and techniques you can use them for. Paint them in different colors, stamp them in different colors. They're really versatile. I, again, this still looks really, really beautiful. Get that all cleaned off, and I'm going to take a greeting from the same stamp set and stamp it down on the inside. I only use this one stamp set for my whole project, which has been one of my favorite things to do is just utilizing one stamp set to create a card so you don't have to get out so many products. Um, each stamp set from Simon Says comes with amazing, amazing greetings. Um, they come with really beautiful images as well. I'm going to stamp this greeting down with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And it says, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Super sweet card. Nice thank you card. And I'm just going to hit that with my heat gun real quick to make sure it's nice and dry. So on this panel, I wanted to stamp a nice bright white greeting. And I took another greeting from that same set and it says, Sending You Love. And I'm going to stamp it down and heat emboss it. So this is why I needed to make sure that my panel was nice and dry. So that the embossing powder that I'm going to use isn't going to stick to the panel. It will only stick to the embossing ink that I'm using. I treated my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool just to make sure that the embossing powder only goes where I want it and it's on the stamped area. I'm going to be using my favorite embossing powder, my favorite white embossing powder, excuse me, from Brutus Monroe. This is their Alabaster White. And I really love the nice bright white greeting. 
kind of helps kind of, you know, bring everything together, I think. I'm going to hit that with my heat gun, get it all nice and melted. And I really love the way that this turned out. I can't wait to kind of play around with it and try different color combinations and even try the regular distress inks. I think it would work for them too. I think any ink that is water reactive will work perfectly with this technique. Next, I'm going to coat the back of my card, uh, my ink blended panel here with some 3M foam tape just to pop it up a little bit. Again, this is a, you know, simple card with not a lot going on. I wanted the focus to be on the florals and the ghost painting. And we're just going to align that up here. And I didn't add any shimmer or anything. I had a little bit of shimmer left on my paintbrush from the last time I used it. It must not have cleaned it very well. So whenever I did the ghost painting, there's a tiny bit of shimmer in there. So it's subtle, but it's there. Next, I'm taking some sequins. I believe these are from Possum Stamps. This is their Diamond Diva mix. It's a, excuse me, it's a nice variety of sequins, different sizes, different kind of like crystal and clear colors. I just wanted to add a tiny bit of shine. I didn't want to overdo it. And I felt like these were perfect. Once I get the right amount here that I'm happy with, I'm just going to adhere them down with some liquid glue. This glue does dry clear, so you won't see it through the sequins. And that will finish up this card for today. I really appreciate you all stopping by. If you like the video, please hit the like button and the subscribe, as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more videos. I really do appreciate all of your support, all of the likes and the subscriptions, and I can't wait to share with you the next few videos. I have been super busy, and I'm super excited to share them with you. I hope you enjoyed this new technique of ghost painting as much as I did. And I'll see you guys again real, real soon in the next video. Bye! screen I've got a few videos that I think you'll enjoy. Consider hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more videos on my YouTube channel.